cardiac pathology, an in-depth exploration of heart disorders. Introduction. Cardiac pathology, also known as cardiovascular pathology, is the branch of pathology that deals with the study of diseases and disorders affecting the heart. It encompasses a broad range of conditions that can affect the structure, function, and overall health of the heart. The heart plays a vital role in the circulatory system, pumping oxygenated blood throughout the body. Therefore, any pathology that affects the heart can have significant implications for overall health and well-being. In this comprehensive article, we will delve into various aspects of cardiac pathology, exploring its causes, symptoms, diagnostic methods, and treatment options. Eye Anatomy and Physiology of the Heart Before delving into cardiac pathology, it is crucial to have a basic understanding of the anatomy and physiology of the heart. The heart is a muscular organ located in the chest cavity and is divided into four chambers, the left and right atria and the left and right ventricles. The atria receive blood from the body and lungs, while the ventricles pump blood out to the rest of the body. The heart's function relies on the coordinated contraction and relaxation of its muscular walls, driven by electrical signals. The heart's electrical system consists of nodes, pathways, and specialized cells, which ensure synchronized contractions and maintain a regular heartbeat. Understanding this intricate system is essential in comprehending the various cardiac pathologies that can arise. 2. Causes of cardiac pathology 1. Congenital heart defects Congenital heart defects are structural abnormalities present at birth, resulting from improper heart development during fetal life. These defects can affect the heart valves, walls, or blood vessels, leading to impaired blood flow, irregular heart rhythms, or structural abnormalities. Some common congenital heart defects include ventricular septal defects, atrial septal defects, and tetralogy of fallow. 2. Ischemic heart disease. Ischemic heart disease occurs when the coronary arteries, responsible for supplying blood to the heart muscle, become narrowed or blocked. This narrowing is usually caused by the buildup of cholesterol plaques, leading to reduced blood flow and oxygen supply to the heart. The most common manifestation of ischemic heart disease is coronary artery disease, which can eventually result in a heart attack if left untreated. 3. Cardiomyopathies Cardiomyopathies are a group of diseases that affect the heart muscle, causing it to become enlarged, thickened, or stiff. These structural changes impair the heart's ability to pump blood effectively. Cardiomyopathies can be classified into various types, including hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, dilated cardiomyopathy, and restrictive cardiomyopathy. Genetic factors, infections, and certain medications can contribute to the development of cardiomyopathies. 4. Valvular heart disease. Valvular heart disease occurs when the heart valves become damaged or dysfunctional affecting the blood flow within the heart. The valves may become narrowed, stenosis, or leaky, regurgitation. Common valve disorders include aortic stenosis, mitral regurgitation, and tricuspid valve prolapse. Valvular heart disease can be congenital or acquired through infections, connective tissue disorders, or aging. 5. Arrhythmias. Arrhythmias refer to abnormal heart rhythms, characterized by irregular, fast, or slow heartbeats. These irregular rhythms can disrupt the heart's pumping function and compromise blood flow. Arrhythmias can originate from abnormalities in the heart's electrical system, metabolic imbalances, heart attacks, or the use of certain medications. Examples of arrhythmias include atrial fibrillation, ventricular tachycardia, and bradycardia. 3. Symptoms and clinical presentation. The symptoms of cardiac pathology can vary depending on the specific condition and its severity. However, some common symptoms include 1. Chest pain or discomfort. 2. Shortness of breath. 3. Fatigue or weakness. 4. Rapid or irregular heartbeat. 5. Swelling in the legs, ankles, or abdomen. 6. Dizziness or fainting. 7. Cyanosis, bluish discoloration of the skin. It is important to note that some individuals, particularly those with certain types of arrhythmias, may not experience any symptoms. However, underlying pathology can still pose significant risks and necessitate medical attention. IV. Diagnostic methods. Accurate diagnosis is crucial for determining the appropriate treatment plan and managing cardiac pathology effectively. 
physicians utilize various diagnostic methods to evaluate heart disorders, including 1. Physical examination. A comprehensive physical examination can provide valuable information about the patient's symptoms, general health, and signs of heart disease. The physician may listen to the heart sounds using a stethoscope, check for abnormal heart rhythms, assess blood pressure, and examine for signs of fluid retention. 2. Electrocardiogram, ECG, EKG. An electrocardiogram is a non-invasive test that measures the electrical activity of the heart. It records the heart's electrical signals, providing information about heart rate, rhythm, and any abnormalities in the conduction system. An ECG is often one of the initial tests performed in suspected cardiac pathology cases. 3. Echocardiography. Echocardiography uses ultrasound waves to create detailed images of the heart structures, valves, and blood flow patterns. This non-invasive test allows physicians to assess the heart's size, shape, and function. It is particularly useful in diagnosing conditions, such as valvular heart disease, cardiomyopathies, and congenital heart defects. 4. Cardiac catheterization. Cardiac catheterization involves the insertion of a thin tube, catheter, into a blood vessel, usually in the groin or arm, and advancing it to the heart. This procedure allows for the measurement of pressures within the heart chambers, assessment of blood flow, and visualization of any blockages or abnormalities in the coronary arteries. 5. Laboratory tests. Blood tests are essential for evaluating cardiac pathology. They can provide information about cholesterol levels, cardiac enzymes, indicative of heart muscle damage, electrolyte imbalances, and markers of inflammation. Additionally, genetic testing may be conducted in cases of suspected familial cardiac disorders versus treatment options. The treatment of cardiac pathology depends on the specific condition, its severity, and individual patient factors. Treatment goals generally aim to relieve symptoms, improve heart function, and prevent further complications. Some common treatment options include 1. Medications. Medications are often prescribed to manage various cardiac conditions. These can include medications to reduce blood pressure, control heart rate, prevent blood clots, improve heart function, or manage arrhythmias. Examples of commonly prescribed medications include beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, diuretics, and antiplatelet agents. 2. Lifestyle modifications. Lifestyle changes play a crucial role in managing cardiac pathology. These can include adopting a heart-healthy diet low in saturated fats, cholesterol, and sodium, engaging in regular physical activity, quitting smoking, and managing stress. These modifications can help control risk factors such as high blood pressure, obesity, and diabetes, thereby reducing the strain on the heart. 3. Surgical interventions. In cases where medications and lifestyle modifications are insufficient, surgical interventions may be necessary. These can range from minimally invasive procedures, such as angioplasty and stent placement, to more complex surgeries, including coronary artery bypass grafting, CABG, valve repair or replacement, or implant. Ation of pacemakers or defibrillators. 4. Cardiac Rehabilitation. Cardiac rehabilitation programs are designed to provide education, support, and supervised exercise to individuals with cardiac pathology. These programs help patients regain strength, improve cardiovascular fitness, and make long-term lifestyle changes. They also offer psychological support and guidance on managing risk factors. Vi. Prevention and prognosis. Prevention plays a vital role in reducing the risk of cardiac pathology. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, managing chronic conditions such as diabetes or hypertension, avoiding smoking, and attending regular checkups are key preventive measures. Early diagnosis and timely intervention are crucial for improving prognosis and preventing complications. The prognosis for cardiac pathology varies depending on the specific condition, the patient's overall health, and the extent of any existing damage. With appropriate management and adherence to treatment plans, many individuals with cardiac pathology can lead fulfilling lives and achieve good long-term outcomes. However, some conditions may require ongoing monitoring and medical intervention to optimize heart function and prevent further deterioration. Cardiac pathology encompasses a wide range of diseases and disorders that affect the heart structure and function. Understanding the causes, symptoms, diagnostic methods, 
and treatment options is crucial for both healthcare professionals and individuals affected by these conditions. Advances in medical knowledge, technology, and treatment modalities continue to improve outcomes. For individuals with cardiac pathology, emphasizing the importance of early detection, timely intervention, and comprehensive care to promote heart health and overall well-being.